Lannisters? Are we at, uh, was it Lannisport? Or, uh, yeah, Lannisport, I think. Honestly, every time I see the Lannisters, I just think like Chronicles of Narnia. Like their, their family sigil, their logo. The Golden Tooth is honored to receive. Oh, we're at the Golden Lannister. Tooth. I have 500 fighting men armed full of spirit. I bring a thousand knights of my own. All right, well, you can send your 500 men back because they're not grateful. I suppose you will make for Harrenhal at once. I want you to send a raven to King's Landing. Tell my brother we are ready to march as soon as Prince Aemond is able to join us. He talks so annoyingly. Like his cadence is annoying to me. He dares to summon me with haste. I mean, there is a large dragon in the Rivlands, your grace. Yeah. My brother's army is strong, but it does seem to I am the Prince that... Regent, not a dog to be called to heel. <clears throat> Irritations are justified, Aemond, but it does seem- I have a task for you as well, Sir Dylan. Oh, just getting ignored, like you're not even there. We will make an alliance with the Triarchy. The Triarchy? I've had enough of this cursed blockade. The Triarchy may play with accepting terms, but they are not to be trusted. Your father knew this. Mm. What does come of our letters to the Greyjoys? He does not care about his father and what he or what Viserys would have done. Seeking his best advantage. Oh, the Red Kraken? Oh, cool. Honey, if it comes to it. An offer of marriage, perhaps, to the Dowager Queen. <clears throat> They're trying to sell you all. <laughs> Alas. The Dowager Queen speaks wisely. You see how he looks at Kristen? Everybody knows. It's time you set out for Arrenhor, I think. Your Grace, if Damon prevails in the Riverlands, I no longer have the numbers to challenge him. He's like, I don't care. Go to Arrenhor. I'll fly out to meet you when the time is right. My uncle is a challenge, I welcome. Mm -hmm. If he dares face me. If he dares. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave it alone. We'll just wait and see. Even though I doubt it will happen this season. It'll probably be like the finale of season three or something like that. Mother? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got detention. Don't you hate being called back when everyone else gets to leave? I caution you, Aemond. Boldness is one thing, but overconfidence. Remind me of your place on the small council. <laughs> you know very well I represented your father during the last years of his life, and I have been a counsellor to Aegon. Capably so. You were, you were a counsellor to Aegon? How well did that go? You served the realm well. The time of need. Are you getting fired? You are no longer obliged. Oh, you're fired. It's not a matter of obligation. This council is needed for temporary voice. But more than enough of those, if you ask me. You have the impetuousness of youth. And its arrogance. So and does Aegon. I the case you of your seat. Such as it was. Like, how are you going to sit there and talk to... It's because she can't control him. Like, him and Aegon are the exact same. But, like, they're just impatient, ruthless, want to do what they want. But she thinks she can control Aegon. But she knows she can't control him. Indignities that your child would not yet sufficiently been avenged. Mm. He said, his mom said, you got childhood trauma. That's like the only time he, she's ever touched him. <laughs> he was shocked. You have the gratitude of the crowd. Not you crying because you got fired. I'm like, what do I do with my life? I go back to Old Town with Otto. Allison's gonna give the same speech. I can't. I can't sit here and watch the blundering of our plans, while Amen takes over. I'm leaving. Yep. Go ahead and put it on. All right. Oh, well, on the bright side, they won't be able to just bludgeon Rhaenyra with with um ideas. <laughs> Corlys will shut it down. If she won't shut it down, he'll definitely shut it down. Grace. Bring him forth. Who? Oh, I was like, did we get a prisoner in between episodes? I find myself, Sir Stefan, in an impossible position, and I must not go to battle myself, as I am constantly told, lest I am slain or captured, and with me are hopes of victory. Which is still stupid. She should be allowed to go fight, but okay. 
In any case, I must now proceed as if I stand alone. And I see now that to do that, I need more dragon riders. Your grandmother's grandmother, Ariana, was born a Targaryen princess. And I have been thinking, could it be possible? Do we not have any... I mean, we do, but do we not have any bastards? A place my oath, your grace. Oh, okay. Then perhaps the gods will favor us. That other guy was like, this is a terrible idea. Every time we see Damon, it's like another episode of WandaVision. Like, all right, who are we going to see today? Last week's episode was his mom. This week's episode. Oh, no, we've already seen, uh, uh, brother. Reyna. Oh, brother. Viserys? Oh, yeah. Is it old Viserys or is it young Viserys? I kind of want to see old Viserys with, like, that golden half covering of his face. Did you say it? The air for a day. Oh, he, the air for a day. You can't possibly still be angry about this. <laughs> My family. That's a terrible opening line. You can't still be mad. That was years ago. You should have been at my side. But instead, you chose to celebrate your own rise. With your whores and your lick spittles. Laughing with the whores yeah. <laughs> and lick spittles. Uh, that was a good scene in season one. Is he repeating word for word what he said in season one? Everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. I think he is. I've decided don't to name new heir. You are to return to Runestone. Yeah, he's saying exactly what he said from season one. Is, is this like the first vision that he's gotten trapped in? Yes. Of assistance, your grace. This man is going crazy. What are you playing at, old man? I do wonder, your grace, if you're getting enough sleep. This... He's definitely not. Oh, yeah, perhaps the cold preacher has been tampering with my peace. A friend by day and a foe by night. Definitely not. To mine, perhaps. Oh. If it's anyone, then it's definitely the rivers. Alice. You are an agent of the high tower rabble. <laughs> this guy is going crazy. Still in league with your club, but did you, or is it Rhaenyra herself? I, I shot you. Oh, your grace. He's snapping. <laughs> He's like, all right, get me strong. All right, big man. Sun's getting real low. Calm down, Damon. If they tried to kill him after this, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, could you blame them? Oh, he's leaving. I was going to say this last episode, too, when he was threatening to burn. Um, not the Blackwoods, the other ones. But I think it's interesting. Uh, like, you know, like, uh, Caraxes is like a deformed dragon. But even, like, the sound of Caraxes is also just, like, it's higher pitched than the rest of the dragons. Like, the other dragons have, like, a deep bellow. But Caraxes is all like high pitched and stuff, and I, I like the detail. The ghosts, the curses, the blasted weirwood bed, I'm done with it. Ah, oh, yes, it is your way, is it not? When something does not please you, you run. Dragon Honestly, stone, step stones, pentos, Harren Hall. I wake and I do not know where I've been. You know, I, I wouldn't blame him from leaving this place, from running away from this place. You are not the player, but a piece on the board. Dang, she said you're nothing. Oh, okay. She said, so am I. I'm nothing. If you have any counsel for dealing with the River Lords, I'd be glad of it. Oh, so you're staying, huh? That's pretty easy. Demon Targaryen asking for help. Counsel. <clears throat> they would rather die stuck in it than yield one inch to one another. Then I can do nothing. You. No. <sighs> she is a she is a barn owl in a human body. Or she's a warg. I saw a lot of people saying that, too. In three days' time, the winds will shift. Hmm. In three days' time. Oh, three more visions this episode. <laughs> this is the... Yeah, this is the song that Damien was singing when he was singing to Vermithor. 
I wonder what it is. Maybe they're saying like, emerge from darkness, blacker than darkness. <laughs> I'm waiting for like the dragon head to just emerge from nothing. Who is this? Oh, that's a, uh, that's sea smoke. Yeah, that's sea smoke. Yeah, don't show fear. You're doing a terrible job, though. Alright, get on. Oh yeah, he's been so welcoming. Oh yeah, he put his shoulder up to... Yeah, go ahead and get on. He he already he gave you permission. Just walk over there and get on. You're taking too long. <laughs> can you can you go? Like he he's literally giving you the okay. Yeah, look at that face. Why are you just standing there? You haven't done anything. You're about to die. See. Don't ever say I've done it. You're, you weren't even on the dragon. Yep, you're dead. This man literally said, I've done it. Just standing there looking at the... Oh, wow. He said, I'd rather... I'd rather slit my own throat than burn. Where are they running? Sea smoke is gone. Why did they run? Sea Smoke literally burned them and left. It's not like he was rampaging. Blockade is sure to be challenged, be it by lions or krakens. Your men will be glad to have you among them. Oh, they already know that they're going to be coming after the blockade. I wish you to sail with me. You distinguished yourself in the Stepstones. And you have the respect of the crew. And you're my son. <laughs> is this an order or a request? It's an order. Bit thin, isn't it? It's either that or the fish. Nothing but fish in this damn city. Yeah, dude. You know they're having a shortage. Why are you complaining? I don't think I can stomach it, lass. Oh, yeah, you've made the right choice there, I'll tell you that. How about... Then don't eat it all. How about that? My girls were taken to the Red Keep a few nights ago. Feasting and merriment for the new Prince Regent. <gasps> and him with acting so correct. This is definitely a play. <laughs> they're deaf because they're not whispering at all. They're talking out loud. Aye, but he's gone now. That, that's true. And his rightful heir denied her seat. Yeah. Yeah, they're all working for the White Worm. Had to sprinkle in that little fact about Rhaenyra. Isn't she the one that Damon leaves with? Not Damon, Aemon plays with? If perhaps foreseeable, I myself- <laughs> He's like, I told you. More conventional approach, true. Not as sensational. Uh, his, his numbers were few, but we may yet retain. Rhaenyra. My fault, I think that you have forgotten to fear me. That was so uncalled for. It is my fault. I think that you've forgotten to fear me. That's not even like the people in the council, they shouldn't fear who their king is they shouldn't be you shouldn't fear who your king or queen is you should respect them that's two different things ruling by fear will only get you so far you need to command respect and you're not winning you're not going to command respect by slapping your small council members even if he was out of line might there not be others among the highborn of the seven kingdoms and who will be so foolish as to try how about let's not let's not go for highborns cannot destroy his own city neither can they overthrow him maybe not but it is harder to wage war abroad when you must also keep peace at home. <laughs> they were literally just talking about Damon having to fight a war on two fronts. Now they'll be doing the same. That's the last one. Mm. What? They haven't run out, have they? Nothing. You're standing right there. He just said that was the last one. All day. I'll take anything. Scraps. Yep, and here come the racks of lamb, like they were saying. It seems, Your Grace, that the small folk have become restless. 
So? There is not. So? Why is this anger directed at us? Is Rhaenyra the pretender who ordered the gullet closed and left them all to starve? They don't care. To ensure their well-being. They just want food. It does occur to me that your grace has yet to name a hand. <clears throat> Sir Criston, of course, served your brother, but you need one who may advance your cause. I don't think it'll be you, by the way that Eamon's looking at you. Do you take me for a fool? Yeah, he's like, no. On the contrary, my prince. Have little patience for the self-important Lord Laris. <laughs> he's you looking at him like, you idiot. Like spittles. Like spittles. I'll make it your responsibility. My prince, it is an honor I've never considered for I'm myself. I'm not to serve this hand, you toad, to fetch You toad. Me. Send word to Otto I. Oh, great. Sire may be overcautious. He's over there smiling. Mm, you'll see it done. Your grace. This guy, he said, oh, I didn't mean me. No, you definitely meant you. I am happy to report that his grace, the king, has regained consciousness this morning. Not happy news. <laughs> Eamon's like, I need to go finish the job. I never noticed the family resemblance. He looks just like his father. Is he trying to crawl away? What do you remember? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I know I know those ribs are broken. That wouldn't happen to be a dead sheep, would it? Yes. I believe these are all dead sheep. Hmm, huh, I wonder who it could be. Oh, that's a dragon. I didn't even re I just thought it was a pet. I mean, it is a pet, but I didn't even realize it. it's so tiny. You know you're not fooling anyone. Hmm. <laughs> Lord Corliss has chosen to raise you up, to serve alongside him, and yet you still continue this subterfuge. Oh, wait. Hold on. The riches. Yeah. Servants. Okay, he keeps his hair bald because his hair is white. I was wondering that at the, you know, when, when I first realized that Alan and Adam were the bastards of Corliss, I was like, in the books, they still had white hair. Which, you know, I wasn't, I didn't really care that they changed it, that they didn't have white hair. But it looks like he does have white hair and he just shaves his hair bald, so no one knows. <laughs> are, you, are you looking him up and down like that? It was a bold attempt. I admire you for it. I have two more candidates that I'd like to try out. My queen, our gift is sent. Mm. What gift? They sent a little present to the people of King's Landing. I don't. I don't think that's enough, but it'll help. It'll definitely help. You'll be like, oh, Rhaenyra sent us food. I like the detail that the the flag is black and red, which obviously that way they know it's from Rhaenyra. Oh, did they send more than just that one? What are we looking at? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. They sent seven of them. Probably more. They're just further back. He says improved. His grace sleeps nine hours of every ten. But he did open his eyes and speak, however briefly. Yeah. He spoke to you last episode, but you walked out the room. <laughs> before you could hear him. There is war. In the reach now, your grace. House Beesbury has raised arms against the High Tower host. Retribution for their lord's demise. Oh yeah, they did kill Lord Beesbury. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it doesn't make any sense. What did you think the the rest of the realm was gonna do when you usurped Rhaenyra and killed everyone who didn't bend the knee? You thought everyone was just gonna fall in line? Like, absolutely not. Yeah, you should be. You should be sorry about a lot of things. You weren't a really good mother growing up. <laughs> You're literally like an auto 2.0. 
This is a nice shot. That was a cool shot of her. I wish to give you my blessing. Well, my thanks to the Queen Dowager. <laughs> He's like, you weren't here for me. You came to see Kristen. I sent ravens to Highgard and Andal Town, but I've had no reply. I've had nothing. But neither have I sent any message. If he wrote letters, it would be to you. You were always his favorite. <laughs> my son, Daron. What's he like? What's he like? How old was Darren when you sent him away? Like, that's crazy to ask. Hey, what's my kid like? He's kind. Kindness is a quality I found lacking in his brothers. <clears throat> Probably because you raised him. Or you didn't raise him, actually. Yes, it seems the Red Keep, for all its privileges, may in fact be a less than salubrious environment for the forming of young men. No. Was it the court? Was it their mother? It was definitely their mother. Because Rhaenyra is fine. Rhaenyra is fine. And uh, Viser Vis Viserys raised in the Red Keep. And Viserys is fine. You can't blame the Red Keep for your problems with your children. Yo, where'd you get that food? Rhaenyra ships. Ships! They came ashore in the middle of the night with gifts from the Queen. She thinks of us even now! Yes. Yes, she does. Even though it was really a sorry. <laughs> I like that. That one guy had the flag. They're, they're taking the flags. Oh, well, yeah, if everyone's hungry, I kind of understand that they're fighting. He laid that guy out. Yeah, I was say, don't stop. Get home. Get home right now. Your graces. We must leave. Now. I feel like they're safer up there. Get the queens to the wheelhouse! Yeah, like, they weren't even, like... I feel like keeping them in the sept, in the, in the, is that the sept? I feel like that would have been a safer option than trying to get them back to the... <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I could watch that on repeat for like five minutes. I need them to keep their own stuff with her. Yeah, Helena, keep going. Oof. Oh yeah, you've done it now. You've done it now. I'm not sheathing my sword if there's a herd of people running at me. Oh no, they're surrounded. How do they get out of that so easily? You and your friends are dead. All three of them. Yep. <laughs> They definitely have plot armor on their side because they were literally surrounded by the mob and then they got out and made it to their carriage. Dang, Allison, you got cut. You seem strangely calm about everything that just happened. Did she not? Or is it just me? Did she seem strangely calm <laughs> after almost getting mobbed? No, oh, and the baby she's there next to her. She's gone. <laughs> That's what you should have done the first time, Damon. Sorry. <laughs> you needed me. Mm-hmm. I'm here now. <laughs> He's gone now. But I get I understand the sentiment. And Alice really got to him. She's like, you're always running away. Sorrowful news from River Run, my king. Lord Grover is dead. Nope. Uh, you know what that means. Young Oscar Tully is now mm -hmm. paramount of the Riverlands. What was the manner of Lord Grover's passing? Well, he'd been ill, of course. Mm. Now, does he think that Alice did it? Her own healer, Alice Rivers, volunteered her Renowned skills. Yeah, she no. She hide her craft, but... She definitely killed him. There was not more to be done. I think... I think everyone there knows. It's unspoken, but they all know. I'm just assuming everyone knows everything. Because people do a terrible job of hiding their secrets. 
I was literally about to say that this is the one vision that Damon has woken up from, kind of like all together, like not really freaking out. But then he started crying. So he's not freaking out, but, you know, it still affected his mental state in a way. See smoke. Fine. Oh, you're fine real low. You want some fish? Don't. Maybe not fish. Did he just hit you with his tail? Or did you like dive down? <laughs> sea smoke's like, yeah, you know that other guy? I didn't really want him for a rider. But you, however, I'll take you. A dragon picking his rider. <laughs> oh. I know your calf hurts like crazy right now. I know that hurt. He's behind you. Nope. Definitely not behind you. Definitely not behind you. He's like, I've been watching you. I wanted him to reach out his hand and touch his nose. <laughs> like a how to train your dragon. My own son questions my capabilities. He thinks I need Damon at my side. Damon himself. He has okay. ever done what suits Damon. I don't think it's that He was everything I wanted to be. Careful. I don't think uh Jace is questioning her capabilities. And I don't think Jason thinks that she needs Damon at her side. But it's the way that I view it is like you guys are at war and Damon is your most skilled fighter. Like after Bailey's, Damon is now your most skilled dragon rider and the most skilled fighter that they have. So even though you two are having like trouble right now, like a marital trouble, it's like you can't not play your best player because you're mad at him. You know, times are getting very desperate and you can't just be like, oh, well, I'm mad at him. So I'm not going to talk to him. I don't need his help. Like that's not the right way to go about it. Rhaenys and her dragon are dead. I have Cyrax and two young beasts. We cannot take on Vagar alone. And I have no army. You have the Valarian fleet and the men who fight in it. Yeah, so I don't know. How will I rule a kingdom when my own son doubts me? He doesn't doubt... <laughs> I literally just explained it. He doesn't doubt your capability of ruling. It's like, we need we need our number one fighter. That's That's a fact that cannot be ignored. It has nothing to do with how you can rule or your feelings. It was my father. Oh, the scars we asked you about five episodes ago? <laughs> had his pleasure when you text someone and they text you back two days later. And after many months of this, it became like, I don't care anymore. That, that was two days ago. <laughs> That's terrible. How could a father do that to, a, to his own child? He left me for dead. But I lived. Or to myself, I would never trust another. And that oath has stood me well. Yeah, like people that can do that to their own children, there's a special kind of judgment made for them. And you better hope it's not <laughs> someone like in the real world that finds out about it. He puts you down immediately. Hello? Nani? Oh, well, this is new. This wasn't in the books at all. <laughs> Damon's gonna come back home and be like, um, hello? <laughs> What's going on here? Do you, do you hear the music that they're playing right now? That's like, that's a weird song choice to put right there. The dragon sea smoke has been sighted flying over Spice now. Yes, he does that. You guys are not doing a good job of playing it cool. Rider. Who? Impossible to tell from the ground. The greens? I don't know who else it could be. Shall I summon your council? Who on the greens would be able to ride a dragon? They only have Helena and Aemond. And I doubt, like, like, I know, we know that it's, um, Corliss's other son. But as for the greens, like, the Greens wouldn't have thought to get the Dragon Seeds to start flying. Like, there's literally nobody else on the Greens that would be capable of taming a dragon. 
Bro, just get on your dragon and go with her. Why are you looking upset? <laughs> I hope she doesn't just like attack Sea Smoke right off the bat. Like, I hope you talk to him first. Oh, that's it. All right, so that's it for this episode of House of the Dragons. Um, I guess I'll start with the blacks this time. I started with the greens last week, but when it comes to Rhaenyra and her small council, there are so many things, like literally so many things that could have been done better. <laughs> just on the blacks as a whole. So when it comes to Rhaenyra and her small council, and her, I forgot who the guy's name was, but her slapping him and saying, I think it is my fault that you have, it must be my fault that you, you've, you've forgotten to fear me, right? Yeah, I think it is my fault that you've forgotten to fear me. Yeah, she said something along those lines. And I said it in the episode, but I'm like, they shouldn't fear you. You know, I know that you're, you kind of have an uphill battle, you know, being a woman, and you know them saying like oh we need damon we need damon but at the same time it's like i mean she knows deep down she doesn't want to be a ruler that rules with fear she knows that already because all the talks that she's had with uh jace you know about you know our job is to protect the realm and to unite it and that you know i need to fight for peace you know i don't just want to go in and burn everything but i don't know i just don't re like i understand she was fed up but i don't really like the line of her saying, I think it is my fault that you've forgotten to fear me. They should respect you, not fear you. If you're leading someone, if you're leading a team, if you're leading a council or the seven kingdoms, you don't want them to fear you. You want them to respect you because if they fear you, aka Rhaenyra the Cruel, also maybe or the Cruel, they're just going to kill you and usurp you anyway. So like, you don't want to rule with fear, number one. And then number two, at the end with Mysteria, the music that they were playing was very eerie. Like, I don't think that was supposed to be like a good scene. I think something else here is going on. Just the the song choice that they chose to play while they were kissing doesn't really fit. Or maybe it wasn't supposed to fit the mood. Like maybe this is some kind of trap that they're setting for Rhaenyra. Or at least Myseria has her own... Um, has her own plan at work or something just because the music that they were playing was really like there's something wrong with it like i don't think you're supposed to trust whatever's happening right there um but yeah so that's all i really have to say about that uh damon he kind of finally i mean well he hugged viserys but he really hasn't done anything with um uh Ray rhaenyra or reyna you know, the other people that he's been having visions of, you know, he only really uh, confronted the one with Viserys and, you know, he apologized. He's like, I'm here for you now. And I, I do see all the stuff on Twitter about, um, you know, just online in general about, you know, we're tired of the visions at Hair Hall. And yeah, I'm tired of the visions too, but I think hopefully this is probably the last one. Like, you know, him kind of making amends to his brother in his own, in his own way, I guess. You know, trying to say sorry for all the his past discretions and everything that he's done, and then when it comes to uh, when it comes to the greens. Oh yeah, also rest in peace, sir. Uh, the king's guard. I forgot his name. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I honestly feel like Sea Smoke would have let him ride, like if he wasn't so timid, and like literally Sea Smoke bowed his head and said, "Yeah, you can get on." And the guy took forever to walk over there. I think Sea Smoke just got irritated and decided to burn him. I honestly feel like that's what happened there. Because <laughs> Sea Smoke was like, yeah, no, you can get on. But I understand that they wanted uh, Corliss's bastard, uh, Alan. Adam? Alan? They wanted him to be the one that rides Sea Smoke, which I already knew that was going to happen because it's the same as in the books. But yeah, it just sucks that someone had to die. But actually, in the books, a lot more people died <laughs> during the sowing of the dragon seeds, so... We got one down and like three to go, three or four to go. So, uh, but switching over to the greens, you know, Otto Hightower is missing, which I will say for Eamon to say, bring back my, um, my grandfather and my grandsire, that's probably the smartest thing he's done this whole, this whole se season. Uh, well, you know, he had some good plans, but I don't think Otto's going to come back because it'll be, I feel like it'll be the same with Allison, like, Sure, you want Otto Hightower for counsel, but I don't think you'll really listen to him. You'll listen to, like, every fifth word 
but I think everything else, Eamon is just gonna do what he wants to do, so we'll see how that goes. And uh Allison asking about her other son, Darren. I just I still think it's hilarious. Uh, you know, we've never seen Darren and they just brought him up in like what? Season two, episode two, episode two or three? No. What episode did Otto Hightower get kicked out? Yeah, I think it was like season two, episode three. Uh and you know, now they're marching on Heron Hall. Eamon has sent everybody to march on Heron Hall. And also Clubfoot, get out of here, dude. Everyone knew you wanted to be the hand. And now you're you're running back to Aegon basically because Eamon wouldn't make you hand of the king. He's like, Yeah, I'm not self serving, but if you want me to be hand of the king, I'll do it. Like, no. We're he said, Do you take me for a fool? He's like, No, I'm not an idiot. I'm not giving you that. I'm surprised he's actually even I mean I feel like Eamon would want a Master of Whispers, so that's probably why he's still there, but... Yeah, so... Uh, Lord Grover Tully is dead. Oscar Tully is now, um, you know, the Lord of the Tullys, so now we'll be able to get, uh... We'll be able to get a, an army in the Riverland, so that's good for Damon. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.